And we are back. And immediately, before anybody tries to ask anything of me, I think we need to do a crusade today. Welcome back to Fleece Clan. It's time for us to open the door, the door to Inur. I cannot talk. Because we have waited far too long to do this. We need to visit Inura. We haven't done a crusade in a while, and I think we're running a little low on resources. People are getting a little sick, actually. So why don't I go through and take care of all of that before we head to Inura? Everybody is pooping way out here. We need resources. We need everybody to take care of themselves. We need more followers. We need, we need to make this clan into a proper clan. Ooh, you got me some salmon. Thank you so much. Actually, I'm gonna take some of this devotion too. Let's get that inspiration. Outhouse. Yes, thank you. We need an outhouse. Because everybody is making a mess everywhere. That outhouse is pretty badly needed. But we also need five planks for that, so. How are we doing on wood? And not as well as I would like. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna head out to Inura immediately. And actually, I think that's one of the things we need to do whenever I head to Inura is send followers to get meat. Because we don't get meat from Inura. We get meat from Darkwood. Inura has like a limited number of snails, I think. And when I say limited number of snails, I mean like after a certain point, I stop seeing snails. Oh, yes, weapon mastery. That's something I have now. Press the heavy attack button to perform heavy attacks. Each weapon has a unique heavy attack for you to master and use a small amount of fervor. We don't have the claws for now, but we do have the axe. The axe does a decent amount of damage. I cannot wait until I'm able to get more damage done. Because in, in my main save, I learned to spam Disciple stuff. It's great. Okay, this is a place where they're gonna just drop from the ceiling. Yep. Did that just... Okay. Well, that did the job for me. They just got crushed by rocks on their own. Anyways, this is going to be great. Yep, I destroy a candle and immediately she's here. Pathetic, sniveling, vile puppet to the red crown. You have felled the youngest of us. We are the bishops of the old faith. We protect against heresies such as yours. I cannot do her voice, oh dear. We are the guardians of the true word, and we shall not tolerate such blasphemy. Your sins are many, and for that your loyal followers must suffer! They shall starve! Oh no! Vivon! Deer Leap! Oh, oh, where am I? Leader? No, not Deer Leap! No! Well, as soon as we get home, we're making- we're gonna get food for you. How- how much food do we have? We have enough for a few meals. Also, uh, in the comments of the last video, there have been like, uh, there was a few people in the comments who were saying something about how we should have the cats eat grass instead of berries. Like, why not have the cats eat grass if things get dire? The, like, part of it is that like, oh, well, we, you lose some faith for that. However, then it got me thinking, what if we do grass instead of berries? It would be an added challenge because we're gonna lose faith. And I know like some, like, they're like, well, why, why don't you unlock the thing that gives you, like, that prevents you from losing faith? And it's because that comes down to something called food of the predator versus food of the prey. I posted a poll about that ages ago. And the thing is, we're cats. Of course, we're going to go food of the predator anyway. Regardless of how that poll turned out, it's food of the predator. We are cats. We are predators. We can still eat the grass. It's just not that good. It's not very nutritionally valuable. So... 
going to be doing my best here. Oh, snail. I never see snails. I don't know if it's because they're rare or if there's literally just a limited number of snails, but I never see snails when I'm in the Nura. And, yep, we have this. I was literally in the middle of doing this. Okay, I have to, like, remember to roll more often because I do have limited abilities right now. Oh, there's a snail! I do want those snail shells. A small for me is also trying to like, pay attention to what the environment looks like because Neuro does not look the same anymore. It's just really interesting having played the game before and like coming back to like early game stuff like, ah yes, this is all completely different. Anyways. Hello? Oh. Ah, ah, the red crown! And you, beast! Godly! Come, I have tools to give, yes? Crafted by Chenlock! My brothers, they might have pretty things, but mine, power! Powerful things! Will you look? Will you take? What will you give in turn? Your flesh? Your bone? Your crown? Ah, I jest, I joke, I won't take anything, nothing for Chenlock! But now, we have unlocked relics. I was wondering when this would happen. And these are very powerful tools that can help us. And as we unlock more, we have more crazy awesome things happen. So we have Powder Box, which, like, uses a random relic. Truest Tentacle, which spawns a random tentacle that inflicts damage when touched. Exorcist's Finger, very useful, summons a demon to assist in battle. Stihi's tongue spawn bombs across the room. Shunru's charm increase in size. Kudai's toenail already. Summon a new curse with an increased level. A tail of the Slythor po poison all active enemies. Allah's teeth very useful. Rain down a storm of lightning upon the non-believers. Seal of the Bishops freezes time for a short duration. I don't think I've ever used this. I don't even know if I've ever actually gotten this. Toe of the Ice Gore frees all active enemies. Lapless's Dice, 50% chance to heal a heart or 50% chance to gain a spirit heart. Galvar's Charm, increase in size. Clonic's Hair, deal damage to all enemies based on the amount of tarot cards you hold. And that's all we have so far. I am looking forward to some of the ones that we can unlock later on. But for now, this is what we have, so... And there's Allah's teeth. This is gonna be very useful. Relics are powerful items imbued with the power of faith. They can be used to perform attacks or special actions. So relics can be used once they are fully charged. Charge them by dealing damage to non-believers. Some relics can be used multiple times, while others are fragile and can only be used once. Ah, ah, my pretty creations! Holy pieces of revered beings! They hunger, yes? Crave the power that was once theirs, yes? Feed them, yes? They are hungry! Hungry for miscreant flesh? Let them feast! And that one's gonna start spawning fire. Yep. And... There we go. Ah, yes! Better than silly card! Better than pointy sword! Chemak is better! Little god will come again! Chemak will give relic! Chemak will make relic! Chemak will make relic out of you one day! Farewell, Chemak! I'm gonna do my best to use this relic well. I'm just gonna take these bones. I'm gonna take all the morsels that I know that these provide. 
Great place to come for meat. Honestly. These giant sacks of followers provide quite a lot of usefulness. And we get some follower meat as well. We can ignore that. And two of the ice core freeze will activate enemies. I want to keep Ala's teeth, so I'm going to stick with that. Ooh, wood or a follower? We're low on wood, but I would like a follower. So I'm going to go with a follower. <laughs> Hecate, please accept our sacrifice and bless us with fertile soil and bountiful harvest. Keep the famine at bay. Because Hecate is the bishop of famine. I'm just like. Here we go. Might have been better if I had waited until later. Oh, I mean, that did his thing as well. Come on. Oh, one more wave. Frog and one last frog. There we go. That did the trick. All right, come along. You're safe now. I feel like your name's gonna be Falcon something because you look like a falcon of some sort. Let me get get some resources, some bones, some fun stuff. Anything of use here? Anything in the tree? Probably not. And onwards. I will gladly take that devotion from that statue, even if it means destroying it. And immediately we're at Klonek. I will gladly draw my card. Ooh, increases chance to spawn better chests or 20% more damage during the day. Do I want the more damage or do I want better chests? Because better chests also have a chance of spawning tarot cards. I kind of want to go with better chests. All is as it should be, as it ever was, all it was meant to be. It is kind of fun to fight the frogs, especially early on. I remember how much I enjoyed fighting these frogs early on. Get a better chest. Look, this is what I was talking about. We get more tarot cards from better chests. Drop a friendly bomb when hit. Very useful. And we get some more snail shells. We have five shells now. How many can we get before I stop seeing snails altogether? Because eventually I'm going to stop seeing them. I wonder. Head down here, I think. That was very useful. Ooh, Bane Sword versus Touch of Turua. I kind of want to go Bane Sword. Because the Vampiric Axe also heals me. Which I kind of want to keep. Oh, I should have brought demons! 
I should have brought demons. I, I'm gonna stick with being healed, I think. If, if it's claws, I have to take claws, but those are not claws, so I don't have to take them. And we got a skull necklace! Very useful. I'm gonna pick this up. 20% more damage during the day! I get that anyway! See? I didn't need to do anything, I just got it. And I have Alice's teeth prepared. Guison! Or Gujion. I call it Guison. You're gonna keep killing frogs and I can keep or you're gonna keep shooting frogs at me. Why I roll into the fire? I am not that smart. Jeez. I'm not good with hitboxes, apparently. And the frogs aren't coming my way. Okay. Why did that fire the other way? Gonna be quiet while I try to focus. Oh, geez, okay. And there I go, martyred. I need more help. I need to I need to remember to bring demons. I lost some of those bones, I lost some of that meat. I, at least I keep the skull necklace and those shells and the follower. Hey, sorry. Death is of little consequence. Rise once more, vessel of mine. It matters not how many times you are struck down. The cult shall continue to grow. I'm gonna do my best! Jeez, I need to get stronger. I do need to get stronger. That's the problem here. Is I really need to get stronger. I need to remember to bring demons. That's a big thing. I need to remember to bring demons. I need to remember to bring other people on my patrols with me. Oh, you are hungry. Uh, let me get that food ready for ya. Um, we have one, two, three... I can make all this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Your death has made followers think you're weak. I am not weak. I am going to recruit you. Your name will be Falcon Wing, I think. Falcon Wing is a good name. And you're going to be a cat, obviously. Let's go with a brown tabby of sorts. This, or I kind of want to go with this, because it's closer to the color. I like that. Oh, and you're a germaphobe, a sloth, and a jerk. Oh, you're going to be wonderful to have around, aren't you? All right, Falcon Wing. I'm going to put you to work worshipping me. Oh, Moss Tuft! You need to sleep. I'm gonna clean this up because nobody else will. 
Hang on, Deer Leap. Are you hungry? Deer Leap, you need to get food. Go eat, go eat, go eat. Go eat. We have we have some food for you. And meanwhile, I also have something for Gold Whisker. Why don't I give you a skull necklace? Here you go. And I see this says we have to kill Hecate and Inura. One of these days, that will happen. One of these days. I'm still desperately in need of wood. Hence why I'm not getting rid of these trees right off the bat, because it's useful to have them around. And I'm gonna clean that up for you, Leaf Claw. I think somebody must have done their business in the opposite direction too. Yep, over here. And it's night time, so that means... Spider catching time. Get that little bit of extra meat from spiders, wherever they may be. There we go. Caught one. Usually they all come running if something hits the ground. Like the bodies of their fallen brethren. Or I could check on the farm. Uh, nothing's grown yet. I'm not gonna be adding berries to this either. Ooh, Falcon Wing is also a healer. Okay. Got a few more morsels. I'm gonna have to spend the night fishing. Let's go do that. We're gonna spend the night fishing because we desperately need food. I mean desperately. I hear the little mwam 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 I'm not interested in that at the moment. I'm interested in food. Hello? Beak of the Fowler, instant refill fervor, okay. Don't need that quite right now, but I'm I'm trying to get food here. Thank you. Oh, it's a new day already. Okay, well. Let's go check on their clan. And let's go ahead. Hedge hedgehog whis whisker or hedgehog fur. We can't rely on your crusades to bring us lumber and stone, so let's build a yum lumber yard and stone mine so, our, so, so through our sweat and toil you may grow rich in these resources. I will do that as soon as I have the resources to make them. But for now, let's do a sermon. All right, everybody, gather around for a clan meeting. If I don't, if you guys don't want to see me die over and over again, I'd appreciate if you'd help me get stronger. Thank you. Let's see. I kind of want to. Do I want to do Curse of the Horde or do I want to just go Necromantic Weapons? Let's go Necromantic Weapons. And then we're gonna get some stronger weapons in a moment as well, once we can. All my followers have some excellent stuff to provide me with. Thank you, thank you. I will take that devotion. Do I have any rituals I want to commit? I, I can't, anyway. But sermon has gone well. Oh, look at this! We have wood. I will gladly take that wood. And let's start consecrating some of it so we can get some outhouses. Because we are desperately in need of outhouses. <laughs> I know you're cats, but I prefer, like, you guys get sick if you guys just leave your business all over the place. Oh, I'll take that. I do need those coins. Thank you.
Got some stone there. Actually, do I already have a stone mine? I do not. I'm gonna go ahead and set up a stone mine. It'll be over here because this is where all this stuff is anyway. And everybody's gonna gather around and it's gonna be fine. This will get done pretty fast when everybody's here building it, honestly. There we go. Now we need a lumber yard. You two are completely overlapping. Just a little bit more devotion. Oop, I will take that lumber as well. I feel like I need just a bit more. We have a couple of wooden planks. We already have the refinery. I need to unlock the lumber mill. I'm gonna go fishing meanwhile, or I'm gonna see if there's anything in the Pilgrim's Passage that I missed. Like any other trees that I can cut down or what have you. Any more trees. Oh, right, I forgot that this would be here. Claw next shoe! Fire three projectiles for each equipped tarot card. If you have no tarot cards, fire two projectiles. Well, I'll take that. Uh, I'll pick the berries, but we really have no use for berries right now. I know. Let's get some fish as well. A lobster. I will take the lobster. Octopus. I will gladly take the octopus. Little tiny one. Please tell me is that a squid? No, it's my nose. I was not running. I literally just hit X. There we go. Got a little fishy. And this is blowfish. Is that going to be minnows or squid? The tiny ones are usually one or the other. That's minnows. This might be an octopus, perhaps? Blowfish. Uh, actually, I'm going to see... Uh, I don't want to give away those octopus and squid lobster right now, but I could. Because I can buy... I could actually buy a fish from him eventually. But yeah, he's gonna give us a little piece of the holy talisman. And actually, if I give him one more. Lobster, very good, very good. As promised, here's a bit of treasure. And... Now we just have to find the crab for him. But meanwhile, we have this. We found all four pieces of holy talisman. Talismans are mystical relics that the Red Crown can use to unlock new fleeces, which is our little cloak. Unlock and equip fleeces from the altar in your temple. Now here's the thing, I barely play with fleeces, but apparently it's like, like the thing to do. I barely dabbled with them. And because I'm not super skilled, it feels risky, but maybe I should give it a try. Who knows? There's an octopus. And we are gonna get some blowfish. We get a lot of blowfish. We need more variety in our fish. Come on. Salmon! That's fun. Okay, little baby fish, please make this something that I can actually use. It's minnows. That giant fish is gonna get a little closer, and please be something good. Tuna, there's no more fish. Well, I fished this place dry. It's all right. 
And we don't have anybody on on patrol today, so I'm gonna send a, a mission out to get some meat, because we are in desperate need. Let's see, you'd come back in two days, one day, but a little less likely. Two days, two days, three days, two days, two days. I feel like Hedgehog Fur or Moss Tuft is my best bet. I'm gonna send... Moss Tuft is a bit of a higher level, so I'm gonna send you. Please bring back some meat. I'm gonna take from the statue. Oh, I literally only need one more devotion. Oh, actually, I should give you guys some blessings, shouldn't I? I need to. I need you guys to have a little bit more loyalty to me. Thank you very much. All of you guys, come around, get your blessings. You're not looking so good, Violet Tail. You're all right. Oh, hello, Gold Whisker. Hey! I will take that divine inspiration and a commandment stone. That is all excellent. I'm gonna unlock the lumber yard because we very much need that. Baller will generate lumber. I think next thing I'm gonna unlock is more missions so I can send more people out to get stuff. But in the meantime, tasty fish meal. And I actually think meager mixed meal is a little better than... I'm gonna say me meager mixed mi meal does not count towards having berries because it's like combining like certain berries with other meat type stuff. So it's like you're like figuring out how to like do more with it. I'm gonna say this is kind of like a healer type thing, medicine cat type thing. And it also has a 10% chance of increasing follower loyalty, so I'm gonna make a few of these. And then a pungent fish stew because we got this stuff for it. But one, two, three, four, five. Y'all are doing great. I, for one, am looking forward to when I'm finally going to be able to, like, Okay, well... Y'all are just dropping puke on the ground, this is fine. Got another morsel. Another one. It's four. Come on. It's got to be at least one more out here. Oh my gosh, how dare you. But I will take this little bit of stone. Having those little offering things is very useful. But it does need a lot more wood. Can I catch any more fish overnight? To Pilgrim's Passage I go. Let's see if we can find any fish. Oh yeah, there's some fish. There's a lot of fish tonight. Got some tuna. A lot of big fish. But I need I need at least a crab to give to this guy. Then I can actually like start buying fish. Or we can head back. And the shelter has collapsed. Oh great. That's gonna cost me a bit of wood. Oh, what's up, Falcon Wing? There's nowhere to poop around here. We need more outhouses. I will build outhouses. We're gonna build two of them. We'll build at least one of them as soon as possible. But first, everybody, come gather around in the temple for a clan meeting. I'm getting the words mixed up, but it's fine. Everybody, please give me your strength. I don't know if this is gonna be quite enough. 
But yeah, maybe another two clan meetings before I have the strength to face Nura again. But with the crown, we can now go ahead and so we've done afterlife, sustenance, work and worship. Possessions, I think, is next. And then law and order. I kind of want to... Let's go possessions for now. Is money the root of all order? I mean, is money the root of all evil? Or is the true evil withholding it from me? So we can say extort tithes, which ex extorts tithes from each follower once a day, or we can bribe them to increase their loyalty. So what do we want to do? I kind of want to say bribe them to increase their loyalty is what I want to go with. Extort Tides does get us some extra money. But I feel like we need strong, loyal warriors. Like that's what we need. We need loyal, strong warriors. And if bribing them is what it takes, that's what I'm going to resort to. Is there anything against money? Like that that's... Cats don't use money, it's not part of the warrior code, so might as well just go with this, I guess. And, oh, thank you, I will take that devotion. Thank you very much. And since we're here, I'm also going to look at different fleeces. So Golden Fleece, damage dealt increases after each kill, but resets when hit, take double damage. Do not want that, because I'm very bad at dodging. Fleece of the Glass Cannon immediately tells me I am very bad. Curses deal double damage and cost half the fervor, but melee weapon damage and health are halved. I will not be good at that. Fleece of the Diseased Heart. When a tarot card is drawn, gain maximum one diseased heart, but become poisoned after take taking damage. Interesting. Fleece of the natural, which is already unlocked. Let the let the lamb be free and naked. Provides no bonuses. <laughs> Fleece of the heretics, an ignoble garb worn only by the most unholy of heretics. Provides no bonuses. Fleece of fragile fortitude. All hearts will be replaced by 1.5 the amount of blue hearts. Interesting. And Fleece of the fates. Draw four tarot cards at the start of a run, but none can be drawn after. I want to unlock Fleece of Fat. Fragile Fortitude? I don't know if I'm going to use it quite yet. I might give it a test run in the dark wood just to see how it goes. And this is just gonna say, yes, we've unlocked Bribe Follower. So now I can make everybody just a little bit more loyal to me with a little bit of extra money. Let me go ahead, and I don't have anything to do that with. That's fine. There's a single piece of stone in there. That's fine. And we have enough for one meal here. And then we have, yeah, see? Grassy Gruel has a 25% chance of causing illness and 5% loss of faith. So, this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a blessing. <laughs> and then I also want to, for both of you, give you a little bribe. I want that little extra loyalty. I need loyal fo I need loyal followers. I need loyal warriors in the clan. There you go. Dearly, how are you doing? I don't think I've given you a blessing yet. I will take that, even if it's just the tiniest little bit. I'm gonna increase your loyalty just a bit. Violet Tail, you are literally doing nothing. I mean, I get you're a healer, but like, it'd be nice if you did something. Anyways, do we have what it takes to build? We do not. We need 15 lumber. Okay. It's more than I anticipated. It'll be fine. I hope. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
And Falcon Wing is immediately like, I am here to cause trouble. Can I at least build an outhouse? I need one more wooden planks. Well, I'm gonna do some fishing, I think. This episode has also gone on for a bit, so I'm gonna do some fishing for the rest of the day, I believe. But anyways... Or actually, you know what? Next episode, we're actually going to start off with a patrol into the dark wood. Because we need to. That's our rules. We have to do a patrol. So next episode, starting with patrol in the dark wood. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and do some fishing before the end of the day. So I will... Return to Pilgrim's Passage, and I will see you guys in the next episode, once this loads. So, stay safe out there, everybody. By the way, I would really love to give a huge thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon. Saffronique, Brambles, Julia Egan, and The Horror Hive. Seriously, your support means a whole lot. Thank you all so, so much.